Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Empress Series 88. My name is Tanya. Well, it's Friday and it's payday, so it's a great day. It's a great day. And it's Veterans Day weekend, so I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time you tuned in. Please like on the way in. It gives me an energetic donation to the channel and it helps me tune into you. So let's bring in spirit and let's get this party started, shall we? Spirit guides and angels of your whitest light, please give me a clear message for the collective, one that brings healing, hope, and understanding. <sighs> please protect me as I open myself up to channel these messages. Please protect my beautiful collective. Thank you, Spirit, for it being Friday, it being pay week, and all the blessings that that entails. Amen. All right, so I did channel. I was going to do a reading yesterday, and I didn't. I forgoed foregone, forsook, whatever you want to call it, the reading yesterday for today. So I have a reading for you and I have a song for you, I should say. And it's from Truly Madly Deeply by Savage Goddess. Okay. And yesterday I heard this song, but today I'm doing the reading on that. Okay. So I was tired. So forgive me. Okay. I got three jobs and I'm exhausted. So I had to take a nap. I had to take a siesta, but today I'm back at it again. Okay. So the lyrics, I'll be your dream, your wish, your fantasy, I'll be your love, be everything that you need, I love you more with every breath, truly, madly, deeply do, uh, the second half of the lyrics, I will be strong, faithful, because I'm counting on a new beginning, a reason for living, a deeper meaning, yeah. And when the stars are shining deeply in the velvet sky, I'll make a wish, send it to heaven, make you want to cry. The tears of joy for all the pleasure in the certainty that we're surrounded by the comfort and protection of the highest powers. In lonely hours, the tears devour you. I want to stand with you on a mountain, bathe with you in the sea, lay like this forever until the sky falls down on me. So this is like a wish. Sounds like to me, more of a fantasy. Yeah, so saying, I want to be a fantasy, I want to be a wish, I want to be a dream. This is a person who loves you deeply, but never told you. It's like a wish, a fantasy. It's like somebody's dreaming of you. You're their fantasy person, girl or woman, whatever the case may be. And that's what they're sending out that, what, uh, I'll make a wish and send it to heaven. Make you want to cry. They want to be everything that you need. They want to stand with you on a mountain, so maybe they like to hike. I'm getting bathe with you in the sea, lay like this forever. It's just, it's like a it's like a dream. That's what it sounds like to me. It doesn't sound like it's anything that actually happened in real life, or maybe you weren't that close to this person in real life. But this is something that they fantasize about doing all these things with you, being everything that you need. So let's get the the card, spirit. Give me one card for the overall energy for the song, Truly, Madly, Deeply Do. Oh, uh, here we go. Damn. Why can't it be a nice love reading? Why does it always have to go with the rails? Broken heart. Son of a... Angel of strength at the bottom of the deck. But we're going to focus on broken heart. All right, it's like that Whitney Houston song. What is it? For broken hearts. Where do broken hearts go? Can they find their way home? Back to the open arms of a love that's waiting there. And if somebody loves you, won't they always love you? I look in your eyes and I know that you still care for me. <laughs> I love that song. Look up those lyrics. Those are, that's a pretty good one, too. All right, so nine. Let's see. What that has to say about this broken heart, baby. It's in the upright. It shows a heart broken open, revealing darkness, emptiness, and a grief-filled tear. The hurt may be from, a long, from long ago, or it may be the pain from a more recent event. Either way, a deep healing is called for now. Bench your feelings and release the person or situation involved. 
affirm that you are reclaiming your power and peace of mind. Open your heart to the light of divine love and healing and have compassion for yourself through this difficult process. Make self-care priority. As you let go of old experiences, you can open your heart to the true and abiding love that you so rightly deserve. So somebody's heart is broken. It could be from recently. It could be from a past situation. But in this song, it really seems like it's something that... It's a fantasy. So it's somebody that broke your heart. You weren't close to. Like, you weren't like... I don't know how to say it. You weren't like a huge, deep connection. So one of you, whether it's your person or not. So let's go into the spiel since it's already like how many minutes into this. It's collective readings, any energy, any science. So past, present, or future energy could be at play here. So flip the roles, you know what I mean? I could be talking about your person or you. So somebody had a connection with somebody but it wasn't a deep connection but their heart was broken regardless or they could have had a broken heart and that's why this didn't take off this this connection between you and them and then they realized that you meant more to them or maybe you walking away deeply broke this person's heart maybe they didn't think you ever would break away from them like i said take what resonates and leave the rest you know put the rules man I got, what is it? John hates jazz shattered dreams. Something shattered, man. But the walking away of this connection. A dream was shattered. Or maybe it was the beginning of a dream taking fruition. Maybe they... I don't know. It's a broken heart. I know that's what it is. Maybe it was in November that this connection, recently or long ago, ended. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's find out here. Let's go into this. Go into some more cards, man. It's the only way we're going to find out, really, at this point. Spirit, can you give me some more information about this broken heart, please? What happened in this broken heart, please? They might not have thought that their heart was going to be broken, though. That's what I'm getting. Obsession. Attachments. This person had an attachment and an with somebody else an obsession with something else a past situation and it broke their heart maybe that's why they couldn't come towards you because they had this I don't know they're reflecting though waiting in the mirror they're reflecting on the past they had a situation with somebody else let's go into the tarot and it didn't work out, but they kept attached to it, obsessed with it, and thought about it a lot. And that's why when you came along, the connection couldn't it couldn't soar like it should because they were still thinking about this past person. Yeah. I'm almost positive that's what it is. But let's see. Spirit, come through. Give me some information about this situation. Thank you, Spirit. The tarot. Temperance. Yeah, imbalance. Conflict. Disunion. Balance is in the reverse. The Empress. But you're the Empress. But they couldn't see that at the time. Look, intuitions. Oh, if I priestess in reverse, they didn't use their intuition. They weren't spiritually woke to recognize your greatness. They're reflecting on it now, though. Maybe it broke their heart when you walked away from them. You were a wish, a dream, a hope. And when you walked away, it, it busted that dream and that hope. Spirit, tell me about this Empress, please. What happened in this connection with the Empress? It's like they learned through the separation, looking in the mirror, reflecting on the past, how much you meant to them, Spirit. Come through. Give me some more cards, please. Everything's in the bloody reverse. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, they're with somebody that were in somebody's energy. They're in some they're, your person's energy. There's an overly critical, cold-hearted person that manipulates your person, deceives your person, leaves them in a mental fog. 
page of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn yeah there was an empty offer here disloyalty no follow through two of swords stalemate crossroads painful choices torn between two relationships so they didn't choose you and it broke their heart it broke their heart because their heart was already broken king of pentacles this is a king of pentacles an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn a mature person successful financially not a risk taker though they didn't take a risk on you based on this they were cautious they put up boundaries against you boundaries you couldn't you couldn't overcome now in this separation you're a dream and a wish because they're with a distorted queen versus you the empress every queen of the deck in the upright represents you represent maybe you're guarded now against this person but for initially they were guarded against you because they didn't trust they had a past connection with somebody and it broke their heart and they ended up breaking yours because of it right because what does it say yeah hurt people hurt people <laughs> the devil's in reverse and they're trying to recover from it any addictions attachments that they're trying to detach from these karmic connections that don't work out and just break their heart over and over again keep disappointing them over and over again the four of wands which is aries leo and sagittarius yeah they're, they're, they don't have a happy life a happy home life they're with somebody in a connection it's terrible four of cups cups is uh water signs pisces cancer and scorpio they want to let go of the regret. They want to choose happiness. But they have a lot of pain. A lot of disappointments. Shattered dreams. Saying. Four of cups, spirit. Thank you. And on the floor again. Spirit. Nine of cups. Yeah, you were their wish granted. And they didn't appreciate or see it at the time until it was over. It broke their heart to let you go. They let you go. Yeah, they did. They let you go. You were their wish and they let you go. Because they couldn't let go of the past. They had bad memories of the past. Possibly emotional hurt. Childhood issues. Immaturity. Yeah. And they didn't know how to receive this gift that the universe gave them and you. The Hierophant. Yeah. An unconventional, non-traditional lifestyle was what they took. They took on. Foolishness is what it says here. The chariot, though, victory in, is moving in a forward direction. Good calm is coming. Hard work is going to be rewarded. Your hard work is being rewarded. You are moving forward, even if it's without this person, because they didn't use their intuition when it came to you. They neglected this connection. They didn't put any effort into this connection. And you walked away and broke their heart. You, they broke yours first, right? But it wasn't. You didn't intend to break their heart. They gave you absolutely no choice. The Emperor in reverse. Yeah, they were dominating, controlling. They didn't have any control, actually. They had lack of control. Too, too controlling in certain areas, lack of control in other areas. Sexually, lack of control. Controlling in their environment. They wanted to control you. They wanted to control you coming towards them. They wanted you to chase them. They didn't want to beg for anything. They didn't have to. Ten of Wands in reverse. Now they're in a mental breakdown because of it. Too much responsibility, overloaded, overburdened. Ten of Pentacles. They could be in a marriage and commitment. Yeah. Or they could want that with you. Seven of Wands. Yeah, it's an ongoing battle. A wounded warrior. They keep persisting, though. They're tired. Tired of fighting. Tired of being depressed. Tired of the same old, same old. Bored and tired and aggravated. Right here. It's aggravated. The tower in reverse. Yeah, resist a change. Delayed the inevitable because change is happening. This person. You're their dream. You're their wish. You're their fantasy. They're not going to stop feeling that way about you. They're going to keep... It's going to keep growing and growing inside this person until they burst. That's what I'm getting here. They're not satisfied in their life. They're not satisfied in anything right now. They're depressed. Might be sleeping a lot. Going inward. Queen of Pentacles, they see you as successful, abundant. No nonsense, though. Good mother, if you have children. Financially independent. Everything they could have wanted in a person, and they chose somebody else that 
is a distorted queen, a person that's lazy, a person that's codependent on them, a person that's disloyal to your person, 12, 12 and a clock. A poor investment, man, all the way around. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Death is here. The end of a cycle and the beginning of another cycle. You could have moved on. Moved on to a new cycle. But this person's also going to get that tower moment. That ego death. Because they have ego and pride. And what does the Bible say? Pride before the fall. This person setting themselves up for disaster. With that prideful attitude. That egotistical attitude. You know, they don't have to beg for nothing. It comes to me. And I'm not going to beg. And yet in their mind in their dream world in their fantasy you are it they want to beg they want to take you on to mountains they want to go bathing in the sea with you they want to take you on vacation they want to be with you and be everything you ever wanted because you're everything they ever wanted and yet they wanted to uh, fool themselves into acting like you weren't 13 13 on the clock yeah eight of pentacles in the reverse yeah and you're not communicating with this person and financially they're at a standstill they're lacking in finances because of it seven of wands now they defend it defensive they're, they feel like they're under attack and they could be and it's karmic and others trying to keep them blocked and bounded so that they can't come towards you they want to confess seven of swords own up to what happened. Own up to what their responsibility in this connection was. Competition. Five of Wands. They either put you in competition with others or they feel like now there's other people competing for you. For your time. For your, your favor. Whatever you want to call it. Maybe that's true. You know, they weren't the only one that had options. Maybe they thought that. They're wrong. Three of Wands in reverse. Self-doubt held them back. That's what caused a lot of delays, their feeling of lack. They didn't... They thought of you as a fantasy, like you weren't going to ever accept them, that you weren't going to want them. And that's what they... That's what fostered their feeling of not coming towards you and not deepening the connection. And they lost you because of it, playing that game. 14.41 on the clock. It's like you weren't going to wait around forever for this person playing back and forth. Love bombing, then ghosting. Love bombing and ghosting. It's like, come on now. Five of Pentacles. Nobody has time for that. Yeah, left out in the cold. They left you out in the cold, and now they feel lonely and left out in the cold. Nine of Pentacles. They see you as winning, independent, successful. Doing it alone, committed, fully focused on what you, your success. The world in reverse while they're staying in stagnation and not moving. 15, 15 on the clock. Repeating negative cycles. Knight of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, arrogant, man. Wishy-washy, unreliable. They didn't show up for you. And they didn't show you how they felt. Five of Cups. I mean, Eight of Cups. Now they're walking away, man. They're in introspection and searching for happiness. They're walking away from people and situations. So like I said, past, present, and future energy, they already could have left the situations that they've been in. Who knows? Who knows, baby? But let's go into what else? Let's do a couple more cards here. Let's go into my deck, go into the rabbit hole a little bit more. Spirit, give me some more understanding of what happened here in this connection. Why didn't they go towards the person? There's more than one way to skin a cat here. We're going to figure this out. We're going to go into it together. Why did they not want this person or seek this person out and broke their hearts? Broke your person's heart. I mean, broke your heart and your person's heart. There's a lot of mirroring here. There's self-doubt, which blocks. If you're not going to manifest positivity, it ain't going to come towards you. I can promise you that. Promise you that. How negative or positive you are is how negative or positive the end result is. Here, give me a few cards, please, before we go into another set of cards. It's just disappointing all the way around because happiness is there. The possibility for happiness is there. It's just the person didn't see it, man. They didn't see it. Bottom of the deck, replaying your conversations, which is what was said in 
channel here. Yes, they have text messages from you. At one time, you could have been very close. You could have been very friendly towards each other. Could have been talking to each other. Could have been texting each other. But now, nothing. And they're still replaying that. Attention seeker. This is what your person was, an attention seeker. You know, they their head was turned very easily by others. They tried to make you jealous, putting you in competition. This is what was said in the tarot. Competition with other people. Ain't no competition, baby. You're it. Tag, you're it. And they realize that now through separation, through breaking their heart, through the time apart from you, that there was nobody better than you. Even though at the time, they might have thought that. Other people might have told them that. But they were keeping their options open to their own detriment, to their own, I don't know what else to say besides detriment, but to their own heartbreak, when you walked away from them, it was it. And now it's like they truly, madly, deeply want you, and it's like you're gone. Because you don't know what you got till it's gone, I guess. I don't know. They are trying to manifest you coming to them, and you're not doing it. Time's going by. You're still not there. You're still not contacting them because you're just as stubborn as they are. And you're not doing it. And look at this now. Oh my God. Come on. Spirits. Uh, wow. This is crazy. I hope not. I hope not. Spirit. Oh my goodness. Look at this. So coming out in the wash, man. What in the hell is going on? Anything? Yeah, everything else there. The whole deck's going to come out in a minute. For Christ's sakes. All right. Let's get out of here. Text message, email, phone call. They want to do that to you. They want to contact you. They want to contact you or they're trying to get you to contact them and you're not doing it. <laughs> you should have, baby. You ain't doing it. Say no. Hell no. Time out. This is what the connection's in. Time out. Equal give and take. That's what you wanted. That's what you didn't get. You were more giving than they were. You set boundaries. At first, they set boundaries against you. You broke through those walls, and then you walked away. And now you got boundaries up against them. They want you to forgive them. Please forgive me. They want you to unblock them if you're blocking them. There was an emotional bond, and this is why it was so devastating when it was broken. Yeah. They lost everything when they lost you, and they realize that now. New love could be coming in to your life. Or you could be in a connection with somebody else. Spell work was being done on you uh, or this person, but maybe through a comic. They look at you as creative. And uh, black magic. Hello. Love it. Black magic is at play here. Somebody's doing black magic. Somebody's doing the most to keep you too stuck and blocked. Away from the here, give me a few more cards here before we end it. So, hopefully it wasn't your person trying to spell work on you to try to keep you stuck so that you can't move forward but somebody's doing black magic somebody's doing spell work to try to keep the two of you away from each other and hopefully it isn't your partner because it ain't gonna work all it's doing is is getting them stuck in them and they're, it's manifesting in their lack in their financial disaster you know what i mean it's it's not helping it's not helping anybody so if you're doing it knock it off it's not going to do any good it's just going to keep you to a pot. Who's doing spell work, Spirit? Let's find out. Spirit, come through. Who's doing spell work? Who's doing dark magic, Spirit? Can you give me some information? Yep. Yeah. Give me some information on who this person is that's doing dark magic on this person. Spirit, come through. Who's doing dark magic, Spirit? I want to know, baby. Spirit. Yeah. Come on, Spirit. Spirit, who's doing the dark magic on this person? Oh, my goodness. Spirit, you answer me? Spirit, come through! Spirit, who's doing the dark magic? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Spirit's not telling me. I can't, Spirit. I really can't. I really, really, Spirit, I really can't with this today. You're feeling lost, saying here. 
And yeah, I think that is a lot of gossip. Yeah, that's what's on the bottom over there. So there's people, man. Oh my goodness, spirit. Spirit, come through. Who is it? Who's doing it, spirit? Yeah, petty gossip. Yeah. It's not saying, but there's, there's got to be people in this person's life that's doing it. Because there's gossip here. So other people are uh, are giving their two cents and saying stuff. And there there's has to be it. Jealous, envious people that have been doing dark magic on your person. They're in the, they're in your person's friend set. Because this is, this is a gang of people. So there's a gang of people in your person's friend set that are keeping you stuck and blocked. Away from each other. So they're just on a high ride, you know what I mean? The, ooh, the highs and the lows, having the fun, having the most, doing a roller coaster ride of highs and lows, and making them happy. They want to escape. They want a vacation. They want to be with you because they're obsessed now with you. They're on the verge of confessing how they feel about you. This is your divine masculine. They feel lost without you. Yeah. Intervention. They feel like they need rescuing. 23, 23 in the clock. You're their soulmate. You're their wish fulfillment. Double confirmation of that. You're their wish. They feel like they're just surviving, man. They're just living. They ain't happy. Bounty hunter, they're chasing after you. They're watching you. They're recalling again. Double confirmation. They were recalling messages, memories, reminiscing about you. They cut you off harshly, though. They broke your heart. Love. This is like... They love you, they adore you, but they feel like they're in the grip. They feel like they're in the grip. And at the bottom of the deck is divorce, final. Yeah. If they're married, they're not going to be in a connection for long. Let's see, Spirit, can you give me some more information here of who this could be? Yeah, it's not that long before they're going to come towards you. They want to negotiate with you. But they're in their anxiety about how you're going to receive them. They don't know whether or not you're going to reject them there is there anybody that is doing this who is the person that's doing this yeah right here locked they feel like they're blocked away from you closed away from you there who is it if you're the divine feminine and yeah the bottom of the deck was trash they felt like they took you out like the trash but who is it spirit and yeah, they want to talk to you but there's this person that's in their energy that they may have the financial support, the divorce. So it's, it could be the karmic that's doing the dark magic to keep them stuck. Yeah. Could be them. They're their wish fulfillment, though. And it broke their heart to walk away from you. They could have been in another connection with another person. And unfortunately, they weren't able to pursue you at that time because they committed themselves to somebody else. But this karmic that they're with, this distorted queen is putting them through their paces, is leaving them in a mental fog, is using black magic and spell work against him to keep this person stuck so that they can't come towards you, that you can't get that abundance together because they know that this person loves you. However, they've searched their phones, searched their computer, however they got that information, they're watching your person. They're probably spying on them, checking out their phone, who knows, tracing their, you know, tracking their phone, tracking their their car whoever it is whatever it is and they know that this person cares about you more than them they know that this person wants to come towards you your person and they're dead set against it and there's these gossiping people that maybe their friends their family that know about it too and is helping them block this connection with black magic and dark magic so all i can say is sage sage Pray to spirit to send back whatever juju, but, but, you know, dark magic is coming in your direction. Send it. Return to sender. And just keep doing you. Keep glowing up. You're doing what you need to do. 26, 26 on the clock. Spirit is going to bless that and reward you. Whether it be with that new love that it showed here coming in. Because your person clearly is in this fantasy world of dreaming about you but not coming towards you there's nothing that says that they're going to come towards you. it says that they want to come towards you it says that there's a projected time that they want to come towards you so eventually that might happen but they're afraid scared that you're going to break their heart that you're going to reject them so they're not doing any movement or action with their feet it's all in their head they're in this dream world of daydreaming about you dreaming about you at night maybe even astral projecting into your dreams 
sending you messages through songs, but they are not coming towards you at this point. It's all fantasy. They want to be everything you need, but they don't know how to go about making that happen. So move forward, keep going, keep glowing. That's all I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me. Empress Aries 88, please like and subscribe and join my tribe. I'd love to have you. Till next time, be safe out there, my friends. Be blessed.